And we've got to mention this, high karate. The high karate. <laughs> if a man uses too much, he's asking for trouble. It's March and I'm heading to St Albans to witness Talking Pictures TV Festival of Film 2023. Join me and I'll show you some exclusive interviews and what you can expect when you visit this show. Okay, so I'm here with Caroline Monroe. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I think it's so busy. It's very busy, isn't it? It's a great event. We're in St Albans today and we're at the Talking Pictures film event, film television event. So, yep, yeah, and we're live on stage. So, well, I'm not right at this not, moment. Not the moment. We're live we'll on YouTube. Be. Live on YouTube. We've got some amazing guests. You've got Susan Hampshire just down there and Valerie Leon going on stage. My, Sir Michael Parkinson's Brian on stage. Brian Murphy as well. Who Brian just... Murphy and Linda. And Linda, Linda yeah. Reagan. Now, We've got some of your stills here from yeah. some of your. Well, I've got to talk to you about yeah, I go something. I back a long way, don't I? So first of all, I want to talk to you about Adam. Adam. Adam Mann. So tell oh, Adam me, Ant. tell me about filming Goody Good, Goody Two Shoes. Oh, we had such a good time. in Long hours, obviously, and we shot out in Virginia Water. I think it's this wonderful old building. Um, but it was um, it was amazing, and he knew exactly what he wanted. He'd done all the storyboards. He did that. He drew out. Storyboards all of storyboards, so he knew exactly what he wanted. Um, but we had um, Mike Mansfield was the director, and I just think it. I just think it's a really fun. Because uh, you start off as the secretary. Yes, I do. Very and then you, proper. And then it's got the, the guy looking through the keyhole. Yes, hole. Graham Stark That's and right. Dandy Nichols. Dandy Nichols. Yes. And then it's got the sexy pose at the end. Well, I We're, don't know about that, but we do, we do our best. But yeah. um, yes, and then she she changes. Yeah. Yes. And then we've got to talk about some of the other films. So obviously, <laughs> you work with Roger Moore on The Spy Who Loved I Me. Did, so yes. any stories about Roger? Just that he was one of the nicest. He was a huge star when we did Spy Who Loved Me in 77. And he was one of the nicest, most giving actors I could possibly dream of working with. I was so surprised to have got the part in the first place. Um, and and I was pleased because it wasn't um, you know too much of a part. It was nice and small, but quite you fun. flew a helicopter in it, didn't I you? I did. Yeah. I did. Yes, I really. Did. A lady of many that's talents. That's, that's a helicopter. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> and you also did the Sinbad films and, and so this I don't know this one. Oh, Maniac. Maniac. We so shot that in New York. It was um, based on a. a, a a true happening in in the states called the son of sam okay the murders, and, yeah. yes the murders and it, it was loosely based on that and and i played um the lady in that are you the baddie no i'm actually not you have to see it yeah. okay no right. joe spinell who i've worked with three times wonderful american actor fabulous american actor who'd work with stillone ev everybody um he um he was the he was the main man Okay. Yeah. No, it was a it was a, a really interesting film to shoot because we shot it all in New York City, and we didn't necessarily have permits or anything. But yeah. Well, look, it's a fantastic. It's my first time here. Okay. Lovely. Hope you enjoy your day. I will. I'm here tomorrow as well. Good. Okay. Um, and I love the show as well. Yes. Oh, um, thank you. So I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend, and thank thanks for your time. I, I love this weekend. Take care, all your viewers. I'm here with uh, Brian and Linda. Hello. How Hello. are you? Here they are. I look big. If I stand up like that, <laughs> I look taller than I am. I they think you're taller than me. <laughs> and I actually gave Brian a pen. Where's the pen, Brian? I've got a pen here. And he's given me a, a photograph. A photo. It's brilliant. Um, we're into any form of exchange, of anything you've got that we want. We're having a lovely day <laughs> yes. at Talking Pictures Renowned Films. Yeah. It's such a it's festival, so it's on once a year, isn't it? Yeah. We love it. No, it's, love it's, it. it's a, uh, a great event and now it's spread itself to two days, which is remarkable. Yeah. They really are, they're extraordinary I've got to say, people. 
I've been watching um, George and Mildred. And it's still showing, of course. Isn't it's it? still showing, it's on DVD as well. Yeah. But your comedy is is fantastic in it. Yeah, I was telling David here, I was saying, because we were 30, 10 years old when he watched it. Really? And families used to watch our programs, Heidi High, George and Mildred, and sing. And the, the, it was always geared to watching. Yeah. Uh, uh, for a family, because it wasn't offensive in any way or anything of that sort. Uh, whereas programs today are different, people aren't watching together. But George was hilarious. I mean, the <laughs> things. That's he kind. He, he, he He's just. so clever. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just think, and it's such He's a shame. So, so good. It's a well, shame what happens to you for, I mean, you know, I think it could have carried on. Could have carried we on. We were due to do another eight, but of course, poor Yusa died. Yeah. And that's 40 years ago. She, she was only 53. Yeah. You know. It's very sad. But you've gone on, you've obviously done uh, Last yes, of the Summer uh, Wine. Last yes. of the Summer Wine and various things, Booze Cruise, but I'm not sure I've got photographs of that. And what's this? Grave uh, Tales? Oh, that was something that I they hey, got me you? to do. Um, it's relating stories to um, Around the Grave. Really? Horror, sort of horror people. Okay. Well, it's fantastic to see you both here. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy your day. You're going to be doing a talk as well, I think. Right. With, We've uh, done that. You've yeah. done it already? We've oh. done that, yeah. Okay, well, I'll miss that. I'll edit that bit out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Linda, you're also a published author. Oh, well, yes, just just a bit. Yes, I've ten crime novels I've written now. Yeah. And which is the latest? Is it this one? It's the latest one is The Burning Question. This has just been written um, for a film, so it's uh, hopefully coming, going to go into a film. Um, this is the latest one, it's just come out, Burning Question. So it's the DCI Bannum series? It's the DCI Bannum series. I know it. You know it now, I know it. yes. Thank okay. You. Okay, well, I will let my viewers know and thank they can get you. these. So, how many books do you, you say you've done? I have written 11. 11? Yeah. Well done. Thank you. And uh, hopefully, is there going to be another one as well coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, it's in, well, there's two in the pipeline, so certainly by the end of the year. Brilliant. Yeah. Great to meet you, and yeah. um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you. Very same to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Paul. And don't forget, everybody. Well, thanks for the use of the pen. That's all right. Don't want it back. No. Don't get a ticket come next year. Brilliant event, and uh, nice to see you both. Thank, Thank you. So I'm here with Valerie. Valerie, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've been a fan for many years. You've got such a body of work. You've got all the carry-ons. I think, is it six? I no, it's six carry-ons. Six carry-ons. And a television Christmas special, which was called Carry-On Christmas, better known as Carry-On Stuffing. Carry-On Stuffing, okay. Yes. Uh, and you've done two James Bonds. Two James Bonds. Two James Bonds. Yes. And we've got to mention this. High Karate. High Karate. <laughs> this is High Karate Aftershave. If a man uses too much, he's asking for trouble. And usually finds it. Because just one whiff drives women wild. Makes men irresistible. Fortunately, every pack of High Karate contains indispensable instructions on self-defense. People still remember that. I did it from 1969, 1969 to 75, and people still remember it. Yeah, it's and they, extraordinary. And they used to give away um, self defense instructions with the bottle. Yeah, that's right. I Absolutely. mean, it's, it's, I mean so, so young men knew how to protect themselves from yeah. women such as myself. And this unsuspecting girl is about to catch its irresistible scent the high karate scent that can turn a usually docile woman. Into a ravenous creature. Oh, look at me! Oh, 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 oh. A scent so irresistible that every pack of high karate carries essential instructions on self defense. I can't really remember it so long ago, anyway. High karate and high karate Eastern Spice. I mean, we've got some of your photos here. And people can buy your calendar and the photos from your website. Absolutely. Which, which I'll put a link in the description. Thank you. Um, and you've, you've come to this event. I mean, you're also doing a carry-on tour, I think. No, what I do is, um, it's a company called Brit Tours. Brit Tours, yeah. And they go around film locations. And, um, and I meet them in a pub where they film Carry On Dick yep. in Buckinghamshire. And, um, and so I, I, when they come off the coach, um, I meet everyone one by one. 
and then I go off on the coach to Pinewood Studios and, and tell a few stories and, and then... And that's coming up in May, I think? May and June I'm doing, okay. yes, yes, exactly. Okay, so I will put a link in the description if you want to go to that, check it out. Um, I, I, it's amazing to meet you. Thank you. I'm so glad you... Uh, I'm touched. El Everyone says I'm touched. <laughs> Thank you, I'm touched too. And um, have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thank you. I'm here with Colin. Good morning, Colin. Good morning, sir. So I saw this. Tell me about this. Well, this is one of the joke books, the famous inverted commas joke books, which went missing from the BBC uh, back in the in the, the early 2000s. And um, they, they went missing from the BBC. We were doing a show, uh, and it, they went missing. Let's let's put it that way. Uh, so Bob posted a ten thousand pound reward for their return and 18 months later they were returned uh, in a blaze of publicity uh, but these books were so precious to him which is why he was so keen to get them back and posted that reward because they went everywhere with it And this, taken in, oh, the year 2000, three years before he died. And that's Bob and I backstage at Granada doing a show called Wipeout. And the makeup artist took a quick snap. And you know, having worked with Bob for 40 years, there are only about three or four photographs I've got of me and him together. Really? It's weird, isn't it? So that must be cherished. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, wonderful. Uh, we've got a whole weekend of terrific stuff lined up. I'm here with Mike Reed. Good morning, Mike. Morning, morning. Uh, so it's a very wit, uh, windy, uh, wet day in St Albans, but this is my first time at Talking Pictures two-day event. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. How did you get involved? Um, well, initially, I mean, I met Noel and Sarah, and they said, oh, maybe you'd like to curate an evening of films and what have you, and I did a few bits and pieces on there for them and then they had this idea of the footage detectives and I thought, I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, and it turned out to be great fun. We've done it for 16 months now. and uh, It's been great fun. It really has worked. Interesting because Noel's always been a backroom boy and now he's on TV every week but he's really warm to it, I must say. And, and it, whatever it is, uh, and you can never organise these things, it seems to work, which and is great. What, what I love is you've you, you find these rare bits of film that probably no one's ever seen. So no, it is good. I've, I've said that with other TV stations I've been on. I said, you know, they like it if there's somebody home rather than just here's a programme, here's another programme, here's another programme. When the, there's somebody they can relate to. And with this, they can get involved, and they do. And people come to me, oh, I think you'll find that was a Woolsey Hornet that just roared out of the corner of the picture. You know, my dad had one from, you know, this 63 to 65 and stuff like that. So, yeah, people are really interested, you know, in the trams, the buses, the music, first record they ever bought, all this sort of thing. But, you know, they can get involved. So we get tens of thousands of, of letters, which is wonderful, and emails. Yeah, and uh, this is the first two-day event. So I think it's the sixth year, isn't it? Yeah, we did two days in Christchurch last year. Okay. Uh, we did a day in, in Liverpool. We've got two days in Monmouth in uh, July and then back in Christchurch in October. Uh, all two-day events. But yeah, it's, it's great fun. I mean, we get some really good quality people along and, and they're, they're great fun. It's just very, very different. You see some old films. We do the footage detectives live on stage and everyone has a great weekend. And all the stalls, of course, they buy all the mugs yeah. and T-shirts and DVDs and stuff like that. So yeah, very popular. This has sold out, what, 1,800 people. Yeah. Very exciting, yeah. Well, look, thank you very much for your time, Mike. Pleasure. It's been brilliant. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning. So, Patrick, uh, tell me, you're uh, involved with, or you're the, the founder of the Lauren Hardy podcast, and yes. you've now taken over the magazine. That's right. Tell me about it. Uh, well, we, uh, I started the Lauren Hardy podcast about, well, exactly three years ago. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to share my love for the for the boys 
uh, and I reached out to all of the sort of the, the film experts and the film historians of Laurel and Hardy all over the world, and they all responded, and they all come onto the show, um, and they share their expertise and their knowledge, which is just fabulous. And the magazines just show us the quality of the magazines. Yep, the all new Laurel and Hardy magazine. Uh, it's been going for 40 years, but we've just taken it on. We've got two issues now. That's the that's the latest one. Um, and we've got, as, as I say, all the, all the best experts are writing for us now. Um, and we have two issues a year, um, one in winter, one in summer. Um, and it just is absolutely beautiful. 36 glossy pages of everything you could possibly want to know about the films of Laurel and Hardy. And how's it been uh, big at the event? It's been wonderful, actually. It's really nice to actually put uh, faces to names uh, and just to introduce people or reintroduce people to Laurel and Hardy again because some, everybody has a memory of them. Everybody used to love them. Everybody used to watch them as kids. Um, some people still do, but some people think, oh, it's wonderful. It's like seeing old friends again. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. No problem at all. <laughs>
and share with your friends and do check out the rest of my channel and subscribe to the sky as youtube channel thanks very much for watching you look up there see where the door is yeah Fantastic.